received my Pro 2006 scanner today. Um, I have it up there on that shelf in the shack, but I wanted to play with it tonight, so I put it down here on the, this little table by the, the other desk. And I programmed a whole bunch of stuff in there. Mostly, uh, and I have the external antenna above the house, 35 feet, hooked into the back, so the external antenna above the house is what the antenna system is. And with that antenna system, I'm able to pick up the Coast Guard up in Padre Island, which is 120 miles away. So I've been monitoring that stuff, and I just put a bunch of uh, Border Patrol stuff in, but I think those frequencies are not used anymore because they went into the digital digital system. But I'm scanning them nonetheless. That's the only way to find out. Not a lot of action in the evening on those uh, on the, on the uh, Coast Guard stuff. Had a lot more during the day. But I really like it. Picked it up used on eBay. It's a realist, realistic Pro two, 2006, 400 channel. Hyper scan scanner. Like I say, it's going to go right it, right there in that spot. I got too much, too many radios over here. I thought about putting it on that other shelf underneath that scanner, but I don't know. I have to decide like where I'm going to get the most use out of it. I might just put it up there, like I said, like I had it. But tonight I want to I want to have it close so I can mess with it. Kind of dark in here, but that's the, the blue screen. Kind of wanted to wait for something to happen so you can hear it. I always wanted a Pro 2006. They were expensive when they came out. They were like 500 bucks. And this is still, for analog scanning, this is still one of the best scanners out there. There's a lot of tests of it on YouTube. One is by the shortwave guy I follow. And he's got a, about four or five excellent videos comparing this scanner to a bunch of high-end ICOMs and some other scanners. And this scanner is one of the best for, a, for analog. It's not digital. It's not P25. It's not a trunking scanner, but in its day, this, this sucker was, uh, and still is, one of the top ones for analog trunking. I could have picked one up on an old, even older unit this week, this uh, summer up in uh, Wheatland, Wyoming. There was like a, a garage sale store, and a guy was going out of business. But it was about twice the size of this scanner. It was an old realistic, and he wanted like 20 bucks for it, but... I just didn't have the room on the trip to haul it with me, and it was it's too expensive to ship, so I didn't buy it. Now I kind of wish I would have. But this is a classic here. I'm waiting for something to to, uh, to for it to stop on something. I had to program some more frequencies in. Well, I guess it's not gonna. A lot of, at nighttime, the uh, I don't think the Coast Guard's too active. I could put like the Brownsville Airport in there, Valley Regional, a couple of Cameron County Sheriff frequencies, stuff like that. I just haven't done it yet. I've got. I'm, I've already got two banks.
I've got them separated into two. There's 10 banks, 40 channels a bank, so 400 memories. But I want to organize the banks and the channels, so I'm not in a big hurry to program this thing. I kind of want to take my time. It's kind of like a library. You want everything set up where you want it, so you know where everything is. You know which bank this stuff is in. You know what channels are in. And uh, so I'm just going to take my time programming it. And I've only I got my digital P25 scanner up here, and this I'll have cert this I'll just have doing the, the P25 system in the lower rear right. Yeah. Yeah. That's for 1191-1191-1934-1964-2003. We're clear.